Hey there, Nick Jotakis here. In this video, we're going to go over using the set command to modify the arguments being passed into a script or a function. That's what we're checking out over here. But before I jump into this script, I do just want to give a shout out to Alex who watched my previous video on overriding pseudo in a script where we are using the set command there, but I kind of sort of glossed over the details of how it worked because I didn't fully understand it myself. So in this comment over here in the video, Alex really broke it down in such a way where it actually clicked in my mind here and I figured now would be a great time to make a video because uh, I sort of have a better idea of how it works. So yeah, thanks again, Alex. And in this video, we're actually gonna revisit the set component of that area of the script just to get a better idea of how it works. But before we get there, let's go over a little bit more basic, basic of an example here. So I threw up a little demo script here that just echoes the output of dollar sign at, which is going to hold a list of all the arguments being passed into the script before and after we use set. So in this case, there's nothing being passed into the script, so there's nothing to output. But in this case, if we do something like a demo, uh, hello world, we do see that uh, the contents of dollar sign at is hello world. And in this case, you know, set didn't modify the contents of dollar sign at, so the after is actually the same as the before. But uh, now let's say that we want to modify the contents of dollar sign at by appending new values to that list. So we can do something like, you know, nice to meet you here. And this is going to be valid syntax because we are modifying dollar sign at to include, you know, new items in the list here. And echo is just going to echo out all the arguments that you pass into it. So it's completely happy and fine with you being able to do that. Now, this is kind of, uh, I don't know, a dumbed down version of a demo script here. But, you know, in a more slightly real world use case, you know, maybe you have some custom uh, condition or criteria in a script where you want to be like, you know, if this one thing is true, then go and add some command line flags here to call some script down here. You know, basically something like that. Uh, but we're not limited to appending things. We can also prepend as well. So, you know, I can put in something like an ABC here and rerun the same script here. And we can see ABC was prepended to hello world here, which is uh, pretty nice. And of course, you know, you can make this a little bit more dynamic as well. For example, if we do uh, colon two here, which is some bash syntax, this is going to give us all the arguments in the list here, except for the first one. Now, this is kind of a funny use case because literally that's what the shift function does here. Uh, so if we rerun this one, we are going to get the exact same output as that. You know, that's just uh, available as a shell command to run. But, um, you know, let's say that you wanted to do the opposite of shift and you wanted to I don't know, get all the arguments except for the last one. So instead of that, you know, using shift, which you couldn't do for that use case, you can do this, which will give you all the arguments, hello world, one, two, and then it gets uh, all of them but the last one. You know, so this is like bash specific, but in any case, it's gonna go and get, you know, hello world, one, two, and then it chops out the last element in the list here. You know, this gets uh, the length of the list here, minus one, and um, yeah, there you go, cool. So that's uh, super basics, I guess, of how set is working. Again, we are just modifying the contents of dollar sign at. So now let's actually look at it in the context of that use case of the previous video where we overwrote sudo. Now I'm not gonna get into all the details around like what EUID is and you know root and calling this, et cetera. You can go watch that video for that one. We are going to focus specifically on this aspect of the script and basically how it how it you know, comes together here. And uh, yeah, so using the same exact knowledge that we just learned before, when we call this pseudo function, which is what we're doing over here, you know, we're overriding the built-in binary pseudo with this function name here, but that's not super important here. Dollar sign at is going to include all of the arguments that you pass into this function. So in this case, dollar sign at is gonna have CP, demo, user local bin, right? It's going to be a list of those three things. And using the exact knowledge that we just learned over here around how set works, well, now we can say if this or condition fires, what we're actually going to do is we're gonna prepend command and sudo to dollar sign at. So now, you know, this function or this, uh, yeah, this function is being called, but copy demo use local bin. This dollar sign at now literally has the value command sudo copy demo use local bin. And guess what? Right here, this is going to execute that command and then boom, it is going to work and we're done. So that is exactly how it works in a real world use case over here. And, you know, in the video, I forgot already if I mentioned this, but like, you know, what happens if we didn't use set? And I think I did do that, in which case, you know, this is actually going to end up running twice. And on the very first time that it runs, it is going to literally execute, you know, command sudo, copy demo use local bin, and then things are going to work because that's just how uh, command works here. But it's also then going to do dollar sign out here and execute that. But the arguments being passed into the script here is copy demo use a local bin uh, without sudo, in which case this is going to get a permission denied error. So if I go here 
and I go back to uh, override sudo here and I run this script here, we can see that we do get a permission denied. That's due to this running here with, you know, copy demo use local bin there. And, uh, you know, in this case, now it is actually going to work as we'd expect here and the script doesn't fail. So yeah, I don't know, that's just one use case of how you can use set to perform, you know, some custom action that you might want to do. I'd be curious, yeah, like let us know in the comments below where else are you using set dash dash here to perform some use case. And, you know, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.